Hi, I am Marcelo Ciro. I am a sound designer and a re-recording mixer, partner of We Can Do Audio Post. Here is a post-production audio facility. So what we do? We edit dialogue, ADR, edit and design sound effects, we have Foley artists, and we do the final step, the mix, or also call it re-recording. And today we're gonna talk about how to get big reverbs in surround. This is my drums, mix it. I did a down mixer to stereo to we really listen here. I will mute and unmute all my reverbs so you can see how the drums get smaller. My first reverb, it's a 140 plate. It is a nice and a big plate. You can see it goes to left and right only. The second reverb, it's a really small room. You can see I'm using more early reflections and it goes only to the left and the right channel. I will show you now what I call surround reverbs. This one is my center reverb. It only goes to the center speaker. It is a medium room. The next one will be my left reverb. It only goes to my left speaker. I use the same reverb but with different early reflections, EQs, and size. Well, the same happened in my right reverb, is the same thing, only goes to the right speaker. The only difference, it's the early reflection, the size, and the EQ again. And the same to my left surround reverb and my right surround reverb. Uh, let me explain why I'm doing this. This drum was recorded in a small room, so we need to simulate a bigger room to get even more space and depth, but without the mud of a big reverb. So I use different early reflections to get a lot of reverb without the mud of a big hall or something like that. Let's listen all the reverbs. Without. Only the plate. Only the small room. The plate give me more depth, and the small room only put the drums a little behind in the mix. Now let's listen only the surround reverb. Now with all reverbs, Only one more thing, all my sands follow the pen, so you can see right now, my snare is in the center, so it goes to the center reverb, left and the right reverb. My hi-hat is in the left, so I send it only to my left reverb and my center reverb. My tones, the same thing. It's on the left, but a bit in the surround, so I send it to the left reverb 
and to the left surround reverb. And this is my overheads. And I send the overheads to all reverbs. To the left, to the center, to the right, to the left surround and the right surround. Let's listen the overheads with the surround reverb and without. Without the plate too. Unbypass my sands. And now mix it. I hope you enjoy and follow us.